As the ultimate S tier thick boy, I've spent a lot of time looking for the perfect holder for all of this premium, perfectly aged beef. And so far, I haven't really done a lot better than a single seater couch whose previous owner may or may not have passed away in. Um, yeah, it's been pretty grim. Luckily, the folks over at Cougar South Africa saw my plight and suggested I take a look at a chair that seems to be built specifically for the gravitationally challenged like myself. And that chair is the Cougar Armor Titan Pro Royal. So, let's put that max load of 160 kgs to the ultimate test, shall we? But not before I let you know that I'll be leaving affiliate links in the description down below if you want to pick up anything I'll be mentioning in this video. And if you're in South Africa, make sure you check out Wootwear, also linked down below. Now, what makes this particular Armor Titan Pro Royal so well, Royal, is that instead of the regular Titan Pro's black and orange motif, the Royal steps things up more than a few notches by doubling down on all the black and going absolutely haywire with gold trim. As much as I like the look of the regular Titan Pro, the more classic look of the Royal just puts it on an entirely different level for me. The almost all black design, complete with different textures, gives the Royal an air of professionalism and quality, one that would fit just as perfectly in a home office as it would at one of those esports events with real spectators, which is something I've been told used to be a thing years ago. Crazy. Anyway, you'd think that because I'm raving about the black color scheme so much, that the chair's various gold trimmings would kind of spoil it for me. But you'd be wrong. There's always a danger that pure black with no trimmings could come off as a little boring, and luckily that's a danger Cougar completely sidestepped by dropping in various golden accents. About 80% of the chair stitching gets the gold treatment. The head and lumbar support cushions both feature the eye-catching Cougar logo in gold, and to finish it all off, an even bigger logo crowns the back of the chair. And just when you think the chair couldn't get any more Eldorado, in comes the armrests with a prominent gold finish on the inside shaft and at the top, really tying it all together, making sure that at almost every angle you're getting an eye full of gold. The Titan Pro Royal is without a doubt one of the most class ass, um, you know, classy and badass, whatever. It's one of the best looking gaming chairs out there for anyone over the age of 10. Adding to the chair's overall style factor is a mixture of materials and textures that give the chair a more premium look and feel. For the most part, the chair features thick PVC leather upholstery, which isn't really leather, so doesn't share all the benefits of real leather, but I think it still does the job pretty well. It still feels soft and firm, and the more cushiony parts of the chair with the gold stitching feels bouncy, while also looking really dope. The flanks of the chair, both in the top and bottom pieces, break up the faux leather pattern with what Cougar is calling a suede-like texture which isn't quite suede, which I actually think is a good thing because I'm not a fan of suede at all. The material Cougar used here feels a little fluffier, and I much prefer it, especially because the same material is used on the included headrest and lumbar support pillows. The chair also has a bigger build than almost all of the other gaming chairs I've ever worked with. The base of the chair is wide with a seat width of 60 centimeters, while the back also flares out and is taller than you'd expect. And the size alone adds more than a few points to the chair's wow factor. Overall, I can't fault the look of the Titan Pro Royal. The color scheme is fantastic, the stitching is damn near perfect, the overall shape is elegant, especially considering like how big it is, and the whole thing just has a way more serious business gamer man vibe. But if you're watching this review, then you're probably already sold on the chair's looks. So let's move on. Now, I haven't assembled all that many chairs in my lifetime because I'm not a chair assembly specialist, which sounds like a horrible job now that I think about it. But I've built my fair share, and if you've ever assembled one, then putting this one together will be a breeze. And even if you haven't, the included guide is pretty simple to follow, although it is a little light on details. What isn't so light is the chair itself, weighing in at 28.6 kilograms, which is actually pretty impressive since, like I mentioned earlier, the chair can handle a max load of up to 160 kilograms, which is more like 170 kgs considering I used it for a couple of weeks with no problems. Helping the chair hit that goal is a sturdy all-steel frame construction and a beefy class 4 gas lift cylinder. Those things can take quite the beating. The base and casters for chairs like this are usually the first failure points if you're like me and have a little more junk in your trunk and like to sit in weird positions. And on that front, the Titan Pro Royal has you covered with a robust 5-star aluminium base with a vortex pattern that along with looking absolutely dope is super strong too. And the plus size caster showed no signs of stress even after a heavy use over the course of a couple of weeks. The casters are also so big that they don't get stuck on bumps and dips nearly as much as others, so that's a real nice bonus. Basically, if you had any doubts about the chair's ass carrying capacity, you can safely lay those to rest. And if you had any doubts that the chair won't recline as far as PewDiePie's, then you can also lay those to rest, because the chair can absolutely do this. In fact, it has a bunch of adjustable thingies. 
Not only can you recline as far as 170 degrees, you're also free to lock it in at any point higher than that since the chair doesn't limit you to fixed steps like a lot of other chairs do. The Titan Pro also allows for up to a 13 degree tilt and features a decent range of height adjustability. The chair's armrests are equally, if not more tweakable. You've got your usual up and down adjustment, which includes the added bonus of showing off more or less of the golden shaft underneath, along with the back and forward, left and right, and even swivel adjustment that lets you dial in the best position for whatever you'll be doing. Cool stuff. Okay, so now that we have a more clear picture of what the Titan Pro Royal is all about, and I've gushed enough about how good I think it looks, it's time to move on to what really matters here. Comfort. What's it actually like to sit in this thing? Well, it's alright. As much as I like the size of the chair with its wider seat base and high back design, and as nice as I think the faux leather and faux suede feels to the touch, the Titan Pro Royal isn't quite the butt cradling, soft but firm throne I expected it to be. I don't mind firm seats in general. I mean, years of sitting in those tiny, uncomfortable wooden chairs at school have pretty much deadened 70% of the feeling in my butt. But even so, the high density foam in the Royal seat and back is a tad too firm for my liking. When it comes to the seats I'll be spending most of my gaming or work hours in, I prefer something that gives way more and cradles my butt just right. Kind of like Cougar's Ranger gaming chair does, stick around for a review of that bad boy. This is an issue I also found with both the head and lumbar pillows. While I really appreciate the ability to move them around like super easily to accommodate my head and back, they're slightly too hard to score a 10 out of 10 on my comfort scale. I understand the lumbar support pillow, like it has to be pretty firm to do its job correctly, but it was still a little too much for me to easily get used to. All that being said, this is more of a personal preference kind of thing, and if you, and I know there are a lot of you, prefer a more firm rather than soft seat, then you'll absolutely love sitting in the Titan Pro Royal. Something else that might also be a little subjective is the chair's breathability. Kugu claims that the chair's faux leather allows air to pass through, and while technically correct, I mean most materials allow air to pass through, I personally would have liked it if more air could have passed through. After a couple of hours sitting in the chair, my butt and lower back did start to feel the heat. It never got bad enough that I felt I needed to get up or anything like that, but I'd be lying if I said it was ideal. Now, so far we've mostly gone over the aspects of the chair that can be entirely subjective, but it's about time to move on to things that I think a lot more of us can agree on. And one of those things is build quality. Don't get me wrong, the chair itself is sturdy as all hell, and the seat, back, and pillows seem about as premium as you'll be able to get at this price point. But there are some important bits that I really think don't share the same high-end touch. Currently, the Armor Titan Pro Royal can be found for $380, or about 7,000 Rand here in South Africa. And for the most part, I think you'd be getting your money's worth. But when it comes to parts like the chair's armrests, and the various knobs, levers, buttons, and cranks, I have to deduct a few fancy points. Like I already mentioned, I love how adjustable the armrests are, and the gold detailing is a very nice touch, but they just don't feel nearly as good as they look. The tops of the armrests feel like medium to hard blocks of plastic, and a little like the armrests in some cheaper cars, and the whole assembly just feels flimsy and kinda cheap. My biggest concern here is that whenever I got out of the chair by pushing off the armrests, I felt like they might give way. They never did, obviously, or I would make a much bigger deal out of this, but they do get a little bendy when you do that, and it's not a great look. Speaking of things that feel like they could break pretty easily, I don't have a lot of faith in the longevity of the adjustment levers, almost all of which are built from cheap feeling plastic. The reclining lever is the only one that felt unbreakable since it has like metal thrown in there. These aren't massive concerns to me as the chair itself is still an absolute solid unit, but I would have really liked to see Cougar give these parts the same premium treatment as the rest of the chair. Now. With all that said and done, I think Cougar's Armor Titan Pro Royal has a lot of potential for the right person. This is a big, beautiful chair built for a big, beautiful gamer. I mean, yes, it does feel like Cougar skimped out on a few of the more minor parts, but if that was done to achieve the 160 kg max carrying capacity, along with like getting that massive size at this price point, then it was a worthy trade. And yes, I personally didn't find it as comfortable as I expected it to be, but I'm also aware that I prefer a softer seat in general and that a lot of people will definitely appreciate the firmness a hell of a lot more than I do, especially those who care about the longevity of their spines. If any of that applies to you, then your butt might have just met its soulmate. Just like everyone watching this is my soulmate, whether you like it or not. Now, get subscribed, hit the like button, and let me know what you think of the Titan Pro Royal in the comments.
And while you're down there, remember to use my Amazon affiliate links if you want to buy any of the things or go to Wootwear for all of your tech needs if you're in South Africa. Big thanks to Cougar for sending me the chair for this review and be sure to keep an eye on the channel for my review of the Ranger gaming sofa. That should be a lot of fun. And yeah, catch you all in the next one. Cheers.